Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorials series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand JavaScript operators. In the previous video tutorials, we discussed JavaScript arithmetic operators and relational operators. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss JavaScript logical operators. Logical operators are also known as logical connectives. Simply we say connectors. They are used to connect one or more conditions. Most of the times we use logical operators with relational operators or relational conditions. Logical operators accept Boolean operands. That means they accept either true or false values. On evaluation, they yield the result true or false. Same like relational operators. Relational operators also yield the result true or false. Here, the logical operators also yield the result true or false. There are three different logical operators are present in JavaScript. They are logical AND operator, logical OR operator and logical NOT or negation operator. Pair of ampersand symbols indicate logical AND operator. Pair of pipeline symbols indicate logical OR operator. Exclamation mark symbol indicates the logical NOT operator or logical negation operator. Logical AND operator says if both the left hand side and right hand side operands are true, then the result will be true. In all other cases, the result will be false. Logical OR operator says if both the left hand side and right hand side operands are false, then the result will be false. In all other cases, the result will be true. Logical NOT operator says if the given operand is false, then the result will be true, vice versa. That means if the given operand is true, the result will be false. Here I have drawn the truth tables for logical AND, logical OR, and logical negation operators or logical NOT operator. Logical AND operator says if the left hand side operand and the right hand side operand both are true, then the result will be true. In all other cases, the result will be false. The logical OR operator says if left hand side operand is false, the right hand side operand is also false, then the result will be false. In all other cases, the result will be true. Whereas the negation or the logical NOT operator, what it does, if the given operand is true, the result will be false. If the given operand is false, then the result will be true. That's what it does. I suggest you people to remember these uh, truth tables. Let's have a demonstration and uh, get clear idea about logical operators. You can see here, I have already opened default.html in the notepad. It has the basic HTML document structure code written. Title is set to logical operators. In between the body sections, I already wrote the script tag. I already opened default.html in the Chrome and title is set to logical operators. I go to the notepad. In between the script tag, I say here document.write logical operators double quotations bracket close semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see that we got the output logical operators I copy this line of code I paste here I pass here the break tag so that the browser should move the cursor to the next line I copy this line of code I paste here and here I say bracket 3 is less than 4 and 4 is less than 5. You can see here we have written two conditions 3 is less than 4 and 4 is less than 5 and we have logical AND operator. How the browser evaluates this expression? The browser is going to evaluate this expression something like this. First, it evaluates the inner brackets left to right. 3 is less than 4 is true. Is 4 is less than 5? The condition is true. Then, the logical AND operator is going to be evaluated. Left hand side is true. Right hand side is true. 
hence the result is going to be true that's what we have left hand side is true right hand side is true the result is going to be true we get the result or output is going to be true let me show that here i am going to write 3 is less than 4 and in this place i write 4 is less than 5 and we get the output here true file save go to browser and refresh you can see that we got the output true let me copy this line of code and paste here let me copy this line of code and paste here now i say 3 is greater than 4 we know that 3 is greater than 4 is false 4 is less than 5 is true left hand side we have false right hand side we have true the logical and says if both the conditions are true then the result will be true in all other cases the result will be false hence we get here the output false file save go to browser refresh you can see we got the output false hope you guys have clearly understood how the logical and operator works let me copy this and paste down let me copy this line of code and paste down here i say 3 is greater than 4 and i say 4 is greater than 5 instead of and i use two pipeline symbols now 3 is greater than 4 is false 4 is greater than 5 is also false so or says if both the left hand side and right hand side are false the result will be false in all other cases the result will be true so in this case here we get the result false file save go to browser and refresh you can see we got the output false let me copy this line of code paste down let me copy this line of code paste down now i say here 3 is less than 4 you can see left hand side 3 is less than 4 is true so here it yields to the result true 4 is greater than 5 is uh, false but uh, we know that what r says if left hand side is false right hand side is false then the result will be false in all other cases the result will be true so here we should get the output true let me write here 3 is less than 4 and here i write 4 is greater than 5 we should get the output file save go to browser refresh that is true that is how the logical or operator works let me copy this line of code paste down let me copy this line of code paste down and i remove this 3 is less than 4 we know that we get the output true there because 3 is less than 4 file save go to browser and refresh we got the output true if i say here not not is a unary operator friends it takes only one operand or and and are binary operators they accept two operands whereas logical not or logical negation operator is a unary operator it takes only one operand so 3 is less than 4 is true when i say not it gives the result false file save go to browser and refresh you can see that we got the result false that is how the not operator works i hope you guys have clearly understood the logical operators you can even use the keywords true and false for checking purpose if you want for example i can copy this and paste down i can copy this line of code and paste down here i can give the keyword true here i can give the keyword true we know that true true yields the result true there with respect to and file save go to browser refresh you can see we got the output true there similarly i can copy this line of code paste down i can copy this line of code paste down i can say a keyword false f a l s e false here i say f a l s e false we get 
the result false if we have here the pipeline characters file save go to browser refresh you can see we got the output false there similarly i can copy this line of code paste down and i copy this line of code paste down and here if i say false f a l s c not false means it is true right file save go to browser and refresh you can see we got the output true on the screen similarly we can check some other conditions if we want i copy here and paste down i copy this line of code and paste down i can say here uh, if hello is uh, equal to equal to h e l l o hello and here i say world w o r l d world equal to equal to w o r l d world so left hand side is true right hand side is true the result we get is true file save go to browser and refresh you can see we got the output true we can use the relational operators for checking the string values also hope you guys have clearly understood the logical operators i suggest you people to remember the truth tables for logical and logical or and logical not operators for this video tutorial this much is enough friends for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial